Kenny Bernstein is getting set in the Budweiser King. His opponent here in the semifinals will be Dale Poldy, fifth fastest qualifier here this weekend. This is the classic matchup. The two biggest winners in drag racing in 1985 pitted against one another. Kenny Bernstein getting that Budweiser King stage. Dale Poldy is already ready. Let's see how this goes. All together. Oh, side by side. Bernstein begins to get the advantage and he lengthens it as they get to the finish line. Bernstein with a 256.41. That is an ET of 5.597, and Kenny Bernstein will move into the finals against Paul Smith. Boy, he just keeps inching downward, turning another 5.5, 5 5.5, 5.6s. That's what Bernstein continues to record. Kenny Bernstein, here is a replay of the start. They went off the line right together. But as they came down, Kenny began to inch away and beat Paul D. Well, the crew chief on the Kenny Bernstein car is a former driver, Dale Armstrong, and Marty Reed is with him. In 1957, a young man by the name of Dale Armstrong began driving race cars at drag strips all around the country. He did that until 1981 when he hung up the driver's seat and turned to turning the wrenches for Kenny Bernstein's Budweiser King. And since then, you have won several championships, several big races, and the wins just keep piling up. Well, this year we've really had a good year. Last year and the year before were uh, mediocre. We finished up third, I think, both years. The first year I was with Kenny, we were real fortunate, I think it was, we finished fourth, and we were fortunate to, to do that well because we had a real disastrous start. We first five races we went to, we couldn't even qualify. We're trying to get our acts together between the two of us. How hard was it for you to give up the driver's seat and take over as crew chief? I was fortunate enough to have won a few championships myself and set some records. And so it wasn't as though I had chased something all my life and didn't achieve something. And when it came time to step down, I found it quite easy to do. Let's look back over your career. When you started back in 57, how much has the sport changed since then? Oh, it's changed a whole bunch. I started in Canada, and I had a all 36 Ford Coupe that, at our local drag strip, the, the slowest time that the clocks recorded was 60 miles an hour. And I think it took me about the first six or seven months of running 58 and 59 miles an hour without getting a time slip until I finally broke 60 miles an hour, and it was that was one of the big step for me at the time. Did you ever think that you'd be breaking speeds at 260? Boy, not back then we sure didn't. I mean, 100 miles an hour back then was phenomenal. I'll tell you one thing. When it comes to that uh, breaking point when 270 is reached, don't be surprised if it isn't a car tuned by this man right here. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you.